Hey guys, welcome back to my new review series, Sofa Reviews Netflix. And once again, Rascal's joining me for review on this Netflix original series, Down to Earth with Zach Efron. Yes, in this series, Zach journeys around the world with wellness expert um, Darren Olean. Thank you. And a travel show that explores healthy, sustainable ways to live. But before we get started, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. To get updates on more Sofa Reviews Netflix. Yes. I absolutely love this show. Now, full disclosure, we saw a lot of negative publicity and a lot of comments and a lot of jokes about him being out of shirt and so forth. And people have a right to feel how they feel. However, full disclosure again, we'll let you know we watched the entire series every episode and... We saw him take his shirt off twice. That's it. The yeah. thing about this show is, yes, there have been shows that have been done this way before. They tell you about different topics that have to do with um, the world, learning to live with nature, improve our standard of living, and how we can better coexist with each other and nature on the planet. Yes, it's been done before. Mm -hmm. What I like about this show, and like most other shows that are like this, is you can always learn something new that you didn't know. And each person who presents the show presents it in a different way than someone else has. For this one, Zac Efron is not the expert. Darren is. And mm -hmm. he becomes friends with him and they travel around the globe to different cities, um, in uh, such as in London and France and different countries, like Iceland and um, Peru and Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. And Darren is the expert. Mm -hmm. And he's the one who, as they travel, is teaching Zac Efron. So not only is he seeing the world in a different way and learning as he travels, but he's learning from his friend. This is a great show, guys. And if you give it a try and watch one episode, and fully become immersed in the episode and what's being taught and what information is being shared and not think about Zac Efron being a star and how people look at him as being um, the, a hot guy. The, uh, the high school musical kid. Right. Yeah. You'll really enjoy the show. He doesn't dress to be seen that way. He's dressed very grudging, you know, very grungy. So clearly, he wants you to focus on the information and on what you can learn to make your life better. I think it's great. Now that we've said that to you, we're going to go over a few things about why you should watch this show. Mm -hmm. There were a few episodes that stood out for us, in particular places they went to. One uh, in particular was France and their water systems, as well as talking about total dissolved solids. And this is the only episode where a star appeared in Anna Kendrick, who's his friend. Mm -hmm. There was not a bevy of stars in every episode like we read online. She was the only one who appeared. Right. And she came dressed down to earth. And you can see that they have a wonderful friendship. And they respect each other and they have a great time. I really love this episode because I learned more about water than I ever thought I would. Mm -hmm. And we, in America have this thing that pure water with nothing in it, you know, it's crystal, crystal clear, pristine, everything has been taken out of it is the best water. Mm -hmm. And in this one, you learn about total dissolved solids and how around the world and other places, they're drinking water that naturally has m minerals and vitamins like magnesium and potassium and silica and so many other things that are helpful to the body. And they drink this water and they're not taking additional supplements. Mm. That has changed our lives. Yes. And having experts on hand who explained what it meant as well as the, the first water sommelier ever known in existence really took it home. So yeah. I have been talking and talking and talking. Rastel, Rascal, sorry, Rascal, mm -hmm. tell us a little more about what you thought of that episode. I thought it was pretty incredible to know that the water systems between there and here were just so vastly different. Mm -hmm. All the things you've been told about, like, bottled water and tap water and things have been, like, totally uprooted with that. 
knowing that you could have been getting even better water uh, than what you've been getting with the in the plastic bottle, knowing that you, we were thinking all this time that plastic mm-hmm. bottle water is the best way to go, or box water is something now that I've seen at stores, mm-hmm. and like, oh, it's a, it's a way to store up emergency. Now, if like emergencies or something, then yeah, of yeah, course absolutely. drink that. Mm-hmm. But if you just want to drink it to stay hydrated, it turns out that the bottle of water really doesn't help you much. Mm-hmm. Because when you drink, we've drank um, sparkling uh, water with the higher, uh, the DTS? TDS. No, TDS. TDS. Total dissolved solids. Yeah, and we've seen there is a difference. It's much thicker. It feels like you're getting your thirst quenched. And it's naturally carbonated. And there's such a high amount of magnesium in the one we're drinking that we sleep easy, we go to sleep easily at night. There would be times that I would sit and I could tell that, you know, I was staying a while, a while wake a while, waiting to go to sleep if I didn't take additional magnesium. Well, now I fall asleep and I wake up refreshed, and yes, the water has made a difference. I will make a video about TDS solids and also give um, reference and credit to Down to Earth Zach Efron for enlightening me. Um, probably in December or January, so stay on the lookout for it. Yes. A few other places he visited that really gave a lot of information on topics and subjects you didn't know. Iceland, and they discuss energy efforts that they are using to improve um, effectiveness in their country and how other countries are being influenced as well. Costa Rica with the Wildlife Refuge. Yes. And see, we get to see all of the animals that they had taken care of in there and protected from being hunted or taking care of them if they were injured mm-hmm. or if there was forest fires, they would help, you know, build the land back up and even show that the plants that they have there, that you would cut them off with the trees. They were sort of like bananas and you would cut them off and then that way a new tree could go in its place. You were supposed to do it. And then each time you went back in a few weeks, there would be another bunch for you to take out. And that's something that he pointed out, which is true. You're not normally told that. We actually had a banana tree sometime a girl ago when I school was little. And we didn't know you were supposed to cut the thing so that it would continue to grow. Mm-hmm. No one ever told us that. So I'm like, great. Now the next time we have a banana tree, we'll know. Right. We also, he went to Sardinia where they talked about centenarians and how there's a high amount of it, as you, I know you've, ho- you've heard, because it's a widely known fact, and how they spoke to people and visited different families and ate with them, and it was really a lot of fun just knowing and learning. Also, London stuck out for us with the beekeeping. Yes. Uh, before he we went to London, he made a stop in New York City, and also we loved Equitos, about the Amazon rainforest, and that was absolutely, absolutely wonderful learning about the durian and the different um, wildlife that's there and the foliage and the trees and how it's being affected, even at a higher rate than we know that's being publicized. And we also like Lima, Peru. So he visited more places than this, and we don't want to spend a lot of time uh, going to each one. What we really would love for you to do is, again, watch an episode and let us know what you think in the comments below. We recommend, of course... The France episode yes. with the water system information. It's right. the best one to us out of the entire series, but each and every uh, show educates you. You learn something new you didn't know. And this the friendship between Darren and Zach is really wonderful and genuine, and we guarantee you, give it a try, and you will love watching the show. Yes. Now, we do not know if there's going to be another season of this. But be- we're hoping. Keep right. Fingers crossed. Because with the end of the season, they actually had showed that Darren's home had been unfortunately burned down because of the California wildfires that took place while they were filming. Yes. He still kept going with the show, and it says he wanted to stay with Zach and keep filming. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but they have not said if there are going to be a second season due to the events. But we are still hoping they will still travel to places that they need to you know, explain about all the resources. Stuff. And, you know, Netflix, Netflix, and I love Netflix, as everyone knows, does have a habit of being affected by negative feedback. Mm-hmm. So hopefully that's not why we're not hearing it. You've got a wellness expert who has written books and is traveling around the world, and you're not only hearing about how he lives and his contributions, but how we can 
learn more and do the same and you're getting to see all these beautiful places and beautiful people they encounter and again learn as you go so hopefully there will be a season two we're going to yeah. keep our fingers crossed yeah. now we are pleased that imdb gave it an eight at uh, 8.1 out of 10 mm -hmm. so that gives me great joy as well so if you've happened to have watched down to earth with zach efron on netflix let us know what you think in the comments below right and be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updates on future videos from SoFab. Yes, and I look forward to sharing my next uh, Netflix original series with you in November. So stay tuned. Yeah. And thanks for tuning in. I am Julie. And I'm Rascal Entertainments. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Peace.